Hi, St. Anthony New Brighton Schools. This is uh, Renee Crenet, your superintendent, and I'm actually super excited to have uh, this opportunity to share with you some thinking we're having around teaching and learning, and then specifically how our thinking about teaching and learning is, will be implemented with our schedule for the middle school and the high school next year. Sometimes I call that the secondary building, so a um, so, little history. Um, the last few years, this is since I've been superintendent and even prior, we have spent a lot of time as a school community talking about how do we do school? Right? So everyone has an image about what school is and how we do school. Many of us have attended school. Many of us have attended school in the United States. And if you've attended school in the United States, you can go to any, any city, any school, they're going to look the same. And what th that is, is it's because it's built and based with one, a value, and that value is efficiency. The value of efficiency. Let me explain that to you. Think conveyor belt. Think assembly line, OK? Bell rings, kid goes to class, right? Bell rings. You move to another class. In each class, you're getting that information into your brain, and you're just going through. It is efficiency. We can get as many kids through with as, long, as quickly as possible. Now, is that helpful? Can, is, does it work? Absolutely. Efficiency model works. We get most kids through, and at a, a certain level of mastery or proficiency. I think we can expect more. I think kids can rise even higher. I think we can go beyond proficiency that we can go to a place where, where we can do deep learning because kids deserve it. Deep learning, what does that mean? Deep learning, this idea that the unknown can be tackled by a child or a future citizen because of the knowledge and the skills that they have that they've learned in school. That's deep learning, that's 21st century learning, that's critical thinking. That's the idea of being able to create and add new and to be critical and to be um, citizens of the world. That's what we need. You can't get that in a conveyor belt. You can get that by engaging in class that allows for a child to enter that space, no matter who they are or what they bring to that space, and get moved. And what I mean by get moved, grow. This idea that students have what they need and they get what they need during the school day. And that um, idea doesn't allow itself in the conveyor belt. Because when the bell rings, you got to go to the next class. Well, why do, we, why do we have to have a schedule like that? So the information that we have received the last uh, three years, not just these last 15 months, but the information we've received from our families, from our students, and from our staff, and from the research, right? So that's part of it. We have to use educational research, has all lined up and layered together. And those themes have emerged that have said, why don't we build a schedule that allows for students to have flexibility? So that when the bell rings, do we need a bell? Are they widgets? Can't they just get what they need in the class that they need it in and in the time that they deserve to have it? If I'm a child that wants to dig deeper, should I have time to do that? Absolutely. If I'm, still, if I'm struggling a little, should I have more time? Absolutely. So how do we build a schedule that allows for that? At the same time, still teaching all of the course and the content that we've been teaching since the last 10, 15 years. And we are able to do that. And that is what that feedback has been given to us. We want some flexibility. We want to be able to use our time the way we know we need. Uh, sometimes we'll call it what, what I need time, right? So it's what I need in that moment. Also, how about starting school at the secondary level at 8 a.m. versus 7.20 or 7.30 that we've done in the past? Lots of research out there that says when students attend school later, when they're in their teens, it really helps. Let's make that change. How about this idea that, um, um, learning takes place in multiple locations. That does it work in the happen in the classroom? Yes. Can it happen in the um, in the in the in the lunchroom when they're working on something independently? Absolutely. How about if they find a little nook and they read a book? Is that learning? Absolutely. Learning can happen any place. That also means learning can happen at home. And so, if, for example, in the middle school schedule, there's an option for a Wednesday blended learning day. This idea that um, all students can come to school and learn person, but if a family says, you know what, I would like my child to learn at home today, they can learn from home. They can access their teacher and their peers from home. 
And so just building in these ideas for uh, depth of understanding with more time and not being driven by a conveyor belt, but rather being driven by the feedback and from the research that says this is what actually helps students learn at deeper um, level. We're going to be sending out some additional information with this video. We're also going to have an opportunity to have you ask us questions in a Google form. We're going to take all those questions and create a more, uh, frequently asked question document that can be accessed by anyone. So we're really excited. We really appreciate everyone's uh, support along the way. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll go from there. Thank you.